Good afternoon. Today is the most stressful part of this entire build. The heat treat. Catch after the intro in the shop. Let's get to work. So before we get on to the terrifying part of the uh, heat treatment, I first need to do a bit more uh, fitment work on the uh, handle for my cutlass because I think while the glue was setting up, I managed to get a little bit of a warp out of that or while it was cooling after all this uh, machine sanding. It's got a wee bit of a wiggle in the middle of it all, so it doesn't really fit on the blade on the tank anymore. So I'm just going to get this to fit again really quick. Uh, you may notice that there's a lot of sawdust on the table and on the floor. That's because last night, off camera, we were working on the, uh, whatchamacallums, the, the scabbards for the cutlasses. That was an ordeal and a half because our router that we were using our little handheld router is not meant for material as thick as we were cutting and the bit was a bit dull so perfect I'm super stressed out about this. I've been losing sleep over it. There's a part of every uh, every project where you start to get a bit stressed, thinking about ways you could screw things up. But whenever you add a time limit to the equation, things can get really, really stressful. Okay. So now, it's time to worry about the heat treatment itself. So I don't have an, a good proper quench tube. Usually, you'd want to do heat treatment with like a Parks 50 or some other really good kind of heat treat oil like that. But I'm too poor to afford Parks 50 right now. That I don't have a proper quench tank to store it in. So instead, I'm going to be using canola oil. And uh, since I haven't got a quench tank to use, I'm going to be using the acid tube. So step one, I'm going to hose this bucket out. And then I'm going to pour the acid into here. I'm going to hose the acid tube out and fill that with oil. So. Uh, Get into that then. It's all that good.
I'm just putting it out right now that if either of these swords cracks or breaks at the treat, I'm going to scream every instance of profanity I know to the sky. And I'm not going to censor any of it. Right now I'm whipping out a couple of these uh, pieces of wood so that way I can clamp the swords between them after heat tree so they don't warp while they're cooled down. Well, okay, it's time for the part I'm horrified about. It won't focus on my face because of all the light in the background. Focus on me. There's nothing else back there. There we go. Good enough. That works. Um, so, we got the forge out. Uh, he's going like, to work on lighting that while I get some clamps set up for, uh, for the planks. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do, yeah, the first thing we're gonna do before we heat treat actually, is touch mark both of them. So, a little bit of a uh, reprieve from the terror. So, catch it, guys, after the forge is on fire. Alright folks, so we got one sort of kneeled and that was, that was really the only one, or not a kneeled, uh, whatever you call it. We got it normalized. And uh, the other one really didn't need it because it didn't do much do too much warping when it was heated, so now it's time to heat treat. The, uh, 
the forge was acting up, it wasn't heating the sword very fast at all. And I don't want to stand here for another hour waiting for the sword for the sword to heat up, so we've broken up the acetylene torch to do it, so it's time. How long have we been rolling? 31 minutes, okay. I don't want to have an hour long clip on here, so I'm gonna shut you off for this one, all right? I'm sorry, but see you after this. One heat treated sword clamped up at the planks. Two heat treated swords clamped up at the planks. One dying rock and one dead Blake. Ah, they didn't crack! <laughs> so now we just have to let them cool down some, and then it's time for the temper, which will be way easier. So, catch you guys after the temper. Alright folks, so I think that's really all gonna be, that's gonna be all for now. I could keep working, there's things I still need to do, I still need to uh, drill some holes in the guards at the end of them, bend those over, and all that. But I wasted all my energy today on the heat treat because you know, whenever it takes half an hour to heat one blade, things get exhausting. Um, but yeah, things went really well actually, all things considered. Right here, we have two hard, tempered, and mostly straight swords. This one here, with the Ricasso on it. This one's the straighter of the two. And this one came out of the quench with a bit of a warp to it. You can probably see that. Yeah, I think you can see that. Uh, we split some, we did our best to straighten it out some. And uh, this one is the one that Blake claimed, and he said he doesn't really care how, if it's got a bit of a warp to it, so. There's that. Uh, well, that's all I have to do today, or all I can do today. So, if you liked this video, then please consider liking and subscribing to see our future videos and to see how this project turns out. And that's really all for now. Thanks for watching. Until next week. Wait, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to show you the list. So we have the guards fit, the guards shaped. I'm not doing pommels anymore. Ooh, so I can get rid of that one. Uh. Yeah, I forgot to mention that I'm not doing pommels anymore. I'm just gonna use the guard, the back of the guard itself as the pommel. I think that would be kind of cool and it'll ease the workload. So, uh, yeah, that leaves us with just this stuff. I got one scabbard, well, we got one scabbard hollowed out last night, so if push really came to shove, I could just glue it together tonight and say, oh, yeah, it's supposed to look like a heap of shit. We're gonna keep working on them, though, so one scabbard is made. Heat treated, tempered, bells are shaped, handles are fit, guards are shaped, guards are fit. That leaves... The final assembly, let me leave the scabbards, the final assembly.
and the sharpening. <laughs> we got a lot done in the last few days. I'm going to be working more tomorrow, but you may not see any of that because I don't film on Thursdays and battery issues. I can't even see how much charge is left on it because it makes it disappear sometimes. But there we go. That's really all now. Thanks for watching. Until next time.